Chuck, we rolling? Welcome to Make Something with me, David Petrito. Today we're gonna make a bunch of these little mini pencils and a case to keep them in. Check it. Now I'm gonna make a sled to run those veneers through the planer. So I'm just using this piece of plywood, some adhesive back sandpaper. Now it's got a grippy surface. Set that on top of there, run that through the planer. Use some spray adhesive, attach my template. That cuts a lot easier than I thought it would. The veneers are pretty thin. All right, now it's time to start gluing this up. So these are all the facing pieces, and then this is the inside backing pieces that I can glue this onto. And I'm just going to use some CA glue. So I need to make this lid hinge somehow. So I'm gonna use some gaffer's tape as the actual hinge. That's going to give me my little pivot point. All right, so now I need to put a 45 degree bevel on all the edges here so I can glue them up. And I made this little jig here with a 45 degree back and some sandpaper on here that I could rub the piece on there and just sand that 45 degree bevel. You can see the little groove we put in there over at the router table. You might be asking why did I run it through and then run it through again? It's because I wanted to flip it around so that groove would be centered, which may or may not be important, but as I try to round these over in a future step, I want that lead right in the middle. So now I have some of this. This is some leads that I got online and we're just going to glue them right in there. They come with this little point on there already and I don't really want that. So on the outside ones, I'll make that stick out the end. The middle one, I'll just chop off.
I would like to take a minute to tell you about today's sponsor and that is Squarespace. Squarespace templates makes creating a powerful online identity even easier. Each template is a starting point for a wide range of projects. Whether you're pursuing your side hustle or promoting your main gig, create a beautiful website with Squarespace's all-in-one platform. There's nothing to install, upgrade, or patch. Ever. Squarespace provides award-winning 24-7 customer support, and it's never been easier to set up a store and sell online. Squarespace allows you to manage your products, orders, and inventory easily. Squarespace makes it easy, quick, and simple to get you up and going without knowing a thing about code, the cloud, or servers. Start your free trial today at squarespace.com and go to squarespace.com slash make something to get 10% off your first purchase. And for those of you that do sign up with Squarespace, send me your links to your websites down in in the comments below so I can highlight you next month. I have a podcast with Jimmy Duresta and Bob Cleggett called Making It and we just transferred our website to Squarespace. I'm also in the process of transferring my website to Squarespace as well and hopefully that new website will be launching in the next couple weeks. I used to be a web developer and the reason I'm moving my website to Squarespace is because I can't stand dealing with the headaches. I won't ever have to worry about security updates and server issues ever again and I can't wait to show you my new site. Think it, dream it, make it with Squarespace. All right, let's get back to this project and finish it up. All right, just gonna put a little bit of shellac on here. I'm gonna wipe it on. There it is, it's all done. I do wanna say right off the bat that this is an art piece and art is supposed to start a conversation. I am very against smoking. I don't smoke myself. I don't like being around it. And to be honest with you, I'm very happy that smoking is not allowed in bars and restaurants where I live. This is an art piece. It's made to be more of a visual piece than a functional piece, but it turns out it is very, very functional. That using that gaffer's tape as the hinge worked out fan. Fantastic. So these are what, what would you call these little golf pencils? They came out really good. I have made pencils in the past out of exotic woods like zebra wood and wenge. There'll be a link to that video down below. All the wood came from Kencraft. This is bloodwood and birch and they are very, very different woods. The blood wood is very dense and was very hard to cut, and the birch cut with ease. I suppose if you were a golfer, this would be great to keep in your, in your pockets. If you're new here, please subscribe. We put out new videos every week. I am David Petruto of Make Something. As always, be safe, have fun, stay passionate, and make something.